Good morning, Helena Track and Field. Um, it's Sunday. I just wanted to send out a quick video to you and kind of talk about um, this upcoming week um, and fees um, with you to make sure everybody's straight on uh, what we're doing and where we are uh, with all that. So first, let me talk about fees. So I had some questions early on when I put out the fee structure where you could pay for indoor and outdoor for 225 indoor only 125 and outdoor only 150 um, I had some questions about that well what if the indoor season was to get canceled which is a valid question with um, the current situation that we have now so anyway here's what I've come up with um, if you are a senior um, if you'll just pay by the season so if you're running indoor just pay the 125 um, and then if you're running outdoor um, that'd be another hundred dollars that um, that you would pay okay um, so you get that same 225 um, that way seniors if a season is canceled if indoors canceled I could push that money toward outdoor for you so um, let's do that if you're an underclassman you can go ahead and you're running indoor and outdoor <clears throat> you can still pay the 225 and if we have an issue with a season being canceled what I'll do is I'll credit that money um, to the next season uh, for you. Um, so anyway, I think that'll work. And you can do that however you choose to do that. Um, I need those fees as quick as possible. It'd be great uh, to help cover our costs for these meets we have coming up. Um, so second thing, this week we have two meets. We have a JV meet on the 9th, which is Wednesday. And then we have a varsity meet on the 11th. Um, I've asked um, the athletes to fill out an event form for me so I can get them entered. I do have some people that will run both meets, um, the JV meet and the varsity meet, uh, especially some of my um, distance runners to get some times in. Um, try to get some qualifying time for state and go ahead and get that um, out of the way for us. Um, so that's what we got coming up this week. Um, I will send out the time schedule for Wednesday night and Friday night today. Um, I will also um, tell you that we will practice in the afternoons this week from 3.30 to 5 o'clock. The weather in the morning still looks um, unusually cold, um, so I think we'll benefit better from um, working and running in the afternoon. So that is a plan this week. If you're not competing on Wednesday, um, I will let you know about practice on Wednesday. Um, I don't know. I haven't gotten that far yet. I'll let you know how we're going to do that. If you're not competing um, in the JV meet on Wednesday, how we're going to handle that. Um, what else? On oh, Friday, we won't have practice because we'll have a varsity meet that afternoon and there won't be any other practice um, on Saturday. So I hope this is helpful. Um, looking forward to a good week. Um, please make sure that you read all the information that I'm going to send out on the indoor meet. Um, it's very important that we all follow all that information um, to the T. Um, they're asking us all to wear a mask unless we're competing, period. Um, Spectators can only sit on one side of the crossplex, and there's a limited number of people who they will allow in there. I don't think that'll be an issue for Wednesday night, but it could be an issue for Friday night. So please read all that material. Let's take care of each other. Let's be safe. And I uh, hope you have a great Sunday. Um, I look forward to seeing everybody tomorrow. Have a great day.